Renovating a home usually means hiring an outside business, but who do you hire? There are plenty of forums and websites that provide reviews of home reno companies, but the trouble is, there's no way to discern whether a review is real or fake. Joining us now to discuss this is Nancy Peterson. She's the founder of HomeStars, an online review site for homeowners. Thanks for coming in to studio this morning. Thanks so much, Bev. So I get, first of all, how often does it happen where someone just posts a false review? Well, it, it doesn't happen that much. Uh, you know, probably about 15% of our reviews that come in uh, get rejected because they yeah. are uh, false, we believe. So we just outright reject them you know, before so they get posted. How do you, I mean, what, what are the examples of where someone might be posting a false review? Like in what areas? Well, uh, you know, it's interesting. We did a, a, a look across all our 100, 100 or so categories and we found that, you know, the some that had the highest amount of cheating were categories like moving. So, you oh know, my. if you're looking at, uh, you know, when Moving you're hiring movers, yeah. uh, locksmiths, oh. uh, painters, and then on the other extreme, you know, so we, we looked at it again, uh, it was in the uh, general uh, contracting category, builders, and, and, and so you kind of think about it, and, and they don't um, do very many jobs in a year, so perhaps they're just trying to, uh, you know, get some, get some testimonials up, and, and they're doing it in a way that obviously they shouldn't, they should be asking their clients to write them, not writing them themselves. So, yeah. so it may be harmless, but, uh, but on the other hand, you know, you, you want to make sure that they are real clients that are writing these reviews. So when you're taking a look at these reviews, because a lot of people would rely on that in terms of who they're going to hire, what are you looking for in terms of discerning how to know whether it's real or not? For sure. Well, I think as you step back, you know, reviews should be your first step in your research because you know in uh, when an online reviews it's not like going to a restaurant and eating a meal yeah uh, you're <laughs> hiring somebody that's going to come into your home and so uh, you know first off uh, you know do your research start with reviews uh, look at the contractors website look at other uh, in information online and then uh, as you're reading the reviews um, you know, you want to look at things, how detailed and descriptive are they? Uh, did they post photos? Um, uh, do, do some of the you reviews want, you sound? you want to see those details, like that, just to know. Absolutely. Yeah. Did they sound the same? or um, And did the reviewer write more than one review? So, so you know, you know, if you're looking at a company that has several reviews, yeah. did those um, did 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 some of those reviewers uh, talk about other companies? Were they were they more engaged? So, uh, but ultimately, when you decide to hire a company, you know, you really want to do uh, your research, particularly sure. if it's a large job. So, I think we've got some a couple of examples we can take a look at, and you can walk through it in terms of ones that you know maybe go overboard in terms of sure, brands. Sure, sure. So in this case, uh, the company, uh, we, this is our, our, our own console. So mm -hmm. this goes into our back end and we get these reviews in, we read them before they get published. Then we have flags that our software detects. Now in this case, the, the, the company name and the email of the company are the same. Okay. So the reviewer that wrote this used their company email. <sighs> so it's kind of an obvious one. So that's no where we just automatically <laughs> reject that. Okay, let's take a look. I think you've got another example in as well. Sure. They can bring that up. And then the second one, uh, again, there's flags. Mm -hmm. So we have alerts. And you'll see these, these red and blue flags. The company is on a, a fraud dock, so we know that there's been cases. Sometimes it's, it's uh, people writing in, and sometimes it's just things that we've seen over the years. So we'll, we'll, um, uh, they've had rejected reviews before. So we'll, uh, again, look at those flags and reject that review before it gets published on the website. So in terms of like, I mean, you're looking at this, you're looking for details, as you mentioned, maybe photographs, but are there... Are there some businesses that are more prone to this, do you think? Again, you know, I, I went back to the, you know, movers, and, yeah. you know, that would be a category that I would worry about. Uh, we've seen a lot of false positives and uh, painters and locksmiths. Always do your homework and big jobs mm. like general contracting, builders, you know, if you're going to do a large addition on your home, you really want to do a lot of extensive homework. Yeah. Ask, uh, you know, ask that uh, company for look at some of the reviews and say, can I contact, can I call some of the uh, homeowners that have, that have written those reviews? So really do your, do your due diligence and uh, make sure they've got insurance and licenses. Okay, Nancy Peterson, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you so much, Bev. We'll have a link to Home Stars. That'll be on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.